Alrighty folks, as you can see we got this Hitachi uh, What is it? I guess 43 inch Hitachi Yeah, 43 inch, something like that There's a look at the port I was telling you earlier See how that port's broken off? Just the RG6, the uh, cable input on it is snapped off So we gotta replace that But that's no big deal we're gonna get it taken apart and solder back up. So hop on the tripod, pay attention. You might just learn something. Alrighty, folks. Got this Hitachi here. It's got a bad cable port. As you see, it broke off. So, or a bad RG6 port. We're gonna get this sucker torn down and hopefully uh, get that port replaced. So I think what I'm going to have to do is find a way to reattach that to that. Probably use some sealant, maybe a little bit of a, definitely some solder and maybe a little bit of sealant too and get it back on there. We're going to go ahead and pop this board off. That way I can actually have it off where I can work on it separate from the TV. Okay, so now that we've got the board out, I'm gonna try to use uh, this piece that broke off of it here. First thing we have to do is we gotta get that little piece of the pin out of there. And then I'm actually taking this right here, taking this right here, and I'm just gonna bend that little prong out just a little ways. That way I can uh, stuff it in the back of this again and we'll just have to make sure that it goes far enough up in there and uh, that it will contact the, the rod in the middle. But yeah, let me see if I can, can't get that out or shove it further up in there, either one. Okay, so I got it popped back in there, folks. I'm, I'm apprehensive to show you. I know I did it off camera, but all, all I did was just open up that little back part I showed you earlier and slide it right on in there. It actually has a beveled lip, so it, it popped in there pretty good. So since it's in there pretty good and I think it's making good contact, I'm gonna test it. And if it does work, then I'm gonna uh, epoxy this to it so it doesn't come off, put it back together and uh, 
it'll be fixed. So we're gonna go over and test it now. All righty, so it is fixed, it does work. Uh, sorry I didn't show y'all me actually popping it in there. It was rather uneventful. I literally just lined it up and pushed it in. But it went in there so good that I don't want to take it back out. I'm just gonna epoxy it right there. It's good to go, got image, so let's take this board back apart. We're gonna epoxy it up and then put it back together. Okay, so like I said earlier, I don't want to put any fresh, or I don't want to remove this to show you. I just, I literally just stuck the screwdriver in the back of it. I didn't pry the little pin out that I showed you. I just opened up a little spot and slid it onto that prong that was still in there. And it just literally slid right on, see? It's just sitting on that prong. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure I got it down and on the board good. See, it just pops right on in there. There you can see. Boop. It just pops right on. Pops right in. And we're just going to epoxy that on there like so. So as long as it sits right there, it's got good, good signal all the way across. So... Make sure it's in the board good. Make sure it's actually in there all the way around. Making a good connection. And once you got it popped in there, you're just gonna glue it up. So now we glue it up. I normally would use epoxy on this, but one of the tubes had busted. I didn't notice it. So I've only got half of the epoxy. So super glue is going to have to do it for this one. Get a little bit down that side. I don't want to get it all in there. Get it in there good. I think we're gonna call that seal. Use our paper towel to wipe up the excess. And keep in mind, I do want some excess because I do want it to, to actually attach to the board and all. I don't want it to go anywhere, but I don't want any on the rest of those connections. So make sure all that's off. Make sure that contact's clean right there. And alrighty, now all we gotta do is just wait overnight until the morning and put her back together. Alright, so I got the board all epoxied up. Look at that. Came out really good. I turned a little bit off the edge, off camera, but yeah. Got it up perfect. Got it popped in there good, so now we're gonna put the board back in the TV. Appreciate it. Okay, you got everything put back in here. Got that plug back in.
Okay, and screen everything, pull it back in, power pull it back in. Put this back on there. Test it, make sure, and that'll be a wrap on this one. As you can see, all fixed up, good to go. Cable port's now repaired. Alrighty, folks, y'all have a wonderful evening.